Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about single inheritance in C++. Before starting, you can note my information which include my app, books and YouTube channel. You can use these information for your study purpose. So coming on to the topic which is single inheritance. So I am going to explain a program which is re related to this example. So in this example, first class is person which will, which will be known as base class and second class is student which will be known as derived class. So student class will be inheriting features of person class. So first of all this slide is representing base class which is person. So name of class is person. Inside person two attributes are declared. First is age and second is name. Then in public section first function is read. It is reading name and age from user. And second function is show, which is displaying name and age on console. Then this uh, curly brace is closing uh, person class and semicolon is termination for the class. So this is the definition of base class, which is known as person. Then in this slide, derived class, which is student is defined here. It is inheriting the features of person class. It means inside student class, you can use all the features of person class except private because we cannot share private members of a class with another class. So here, roll number and branch, two attributes of student class available. Then public in public section, read function is defined. Now you have to notice that inside this read function, read function of person class is called with the help of class name and scope resolution operator. So whenever uh, this derived class that is student class read function will be called, it will internally call read function of person class. So first read function of person class will be executed and then remaining students of sorry remaining instructions of this function will be executed. Similarly inside this show function first person scope resolution show will be called and then roll number and branch of student class will be displayed. So you can see that base class methods are uh, called through derived class methods. Now inside main function, a single object of student class is created. So this S1 object will uh, allocate memory for student class attributes as well as memory for person class attributes. Then s dot read function will be called. So this read function will call this student class read function. But in this function, uh, uh, read function of person is also called. So through this statement, this read function will be executed. So after execution of this read function, the remaining instructions of uh, read function of student class will be executed. Then s1 dot show, this again will call uh, show function of student class and that function will internally call show function of uh, person class. So uh, with the help of this example, you will be able to understand how we have connected uh, features of base class with derived class. So in case of inheritance, you have to create object of only derived class and with the help of derived class object, you can manage all the members of base class as well as derived class. So uh, friends implement this example in your laptop or desktop so that you can uh, easily understand the concept behind single inheritance. So implement this program. Thank you for watching this video.